I am working on printing the skirts as you know and it's it will be in three batches in total the first two are now done the first one I printed when it was on the table the next two I put it in the cabinet and well the third one isn't out yet it's printing but I noticed with the second batch that I have a decent amount of layer shifting as you can see that was my nightwear with the black widow and well it seems to haunt me with the swaron as well but the good thing is I have a theory since it didn't happen when it was on the table and started to happen when I moved it inside the cabinet I think the problem is just the fact that the electronics aren't getting enough cooling and well if that's the case uh, when the printing is done and I mount the fence it should solve itself and the drivers should get enough cooling because well when the drivers don't get cooled well enough they can overheat and cause power issues to the motors and long story short cause layer shifting now if that's not the case then it's a bit harder that means it's a mechanical issue and yeah if that's the case it probably comes down to the cracked xy joint that I mentioned in the earlier episode every part I need to mount the bottom panel is now ready along with a few extras like this C920 with the special mount I made a video about this I'm not sure if it's live yet or it will be next week but yeah either way either you saw it or you will see it pretty soon and these are SKR board mounts that have a fan mount included and for that I'm going to use these cute little 40 millimeter Noctua fans these are the regular fan mounts that go on the bottom plate and as you can see I have a silver stone filter as well I had to cut this part of it on both of them to make sure it sits properly as for the fan, I'm kinda in between using my some of my NFF uh, NFF12s or the these Corsair fans. I don't know their part number. I'm a big fan of Noctua fans, pun intended. I know I made that joke before, but yeah, as I said, I like them. But for this case, I may need better airflow than what the NFF12s provide. They are very silent, but. Honestly, silence doesn't matter that much with a 3D printer since there are other noisy parts. And these Corsair fans, if I remember, were 3000 RPM. They are a bit loud, but they provide better airflow. So, yeah, I think they might be better suited for the purpose. But I might just go with the Noctuas because I like them more. We'll see. Here are all the skirts that I printed. These will allow me to mount the bottom panel as I explained before and here I have the bottom panel mounting clips I guess you would call these these came with the fifth parts so these are printed in ABS I don't know why these were included but not the skirts like I understand why they didn't include the skirts but since the skirts aren't included I don't know why they included these but yeah it's nice I guess I'm not complaining I'm just curious and lastly, I have the uh, Raspberry Pi heatsink mount here as well, so that I can get rid of the janky zip tie mount. So yeah, I guess there's nothing left for me to say. Let's get to mounting these. All the skirts and the bottom panel is now mounted, as you can see. Now there is a minor fi thing that's just decorative that I need to mount. The cover that goes on the uh, transmission system. But uh, I do need the same grey that's used here. If I want to color match properly. That's why I haven't printed those yet. But other than that, I mounted all of the skirts. I mounted the Raspberry Pi with the new mount. That was a bit tricky because the screw length wasn't good enough and 
well, I have to use M two and a half screws. So, yeah, it was a bit hard to figure out, but finally I managed to find some long enough M two and a half. That's not normally a size that I keep stock of. So yeah, I guess I was still lucky enough. And yeah, I also mounted the tiny, cute Noctua forty millimeter fans on the SKR boards. So yeah, I guess it's time to give this a go. Firstly, we'll see if I broke anything, which is definitely possible, knowing that it was me who did this. But yeah, if I didn't, we'll see if the uh, skipping steps issues continue with better cooling or not. I also mounted the camera here and I noticed one more problem. As you can see the fans are touching the floor so I definitely need a solution for that to not to choke the fans but I think the solution is possible. I just need four riser pieces underneath these foot I'll print them out of PLA but I'll use decent amount of infill it should be fine and yeah, that will solve the problem, I assume. I mounted the spacers for the feet as you can see this is now 30 millimeter raised and now it's time to see if it had any effect on the cooling itself This is actually a week later since the last recording. I did a few minor things here and there, but I couldn't manage to figure out the problems, as you can probably guess by this long intro. But uh, as you can see, I mounted the back plate. I also drilled a circular hole there, as you can see. And that is for connecting to this fan when I do the enclosure properly. And speaking of which, I know I said it was hard for me to source these, but I figured it out. These are acrylic side panels. And actually, uh, hopefully I don't destroy this. Yeah, as you can see, this is the best I can do one-handed. One of them is split in half, and that's for making front doors. There is a magneting door design on GitHub that I'm going to use. But I couldn't mount the panels yet, and that's because these lock bodies they're just way too thick for the 2.8mm acrylic panels that I'm gonna use, so I need different mounts. That's why I couldn't mount anything uh, yet, but that is to come. I also relocated the filament uh, spool holder here. This is just a temporary measure. It's I Sorry, I relocated this to here because it just was too hard for me to constantly put this back in the cabinet and remove etc. I know I'm losing a decent amount of z-height here and it also doesn't look great. So yeah, this definitely is temporary. I have a better solution in mind. I just need some time and printed parts. And I also wired this uh, 
filament runout switch. I haven't done the firmware configuration for this yet, but that's coming. I mounted it with entry screws and just regular motherboard style standoffs. Just like just the same way I mounted this drag chain. And yeah, one more thing, I will do a LED lighting system and I actually have the LEDs here, as you can see. I designed mounts for the top portion of this, but I think I'm going to have some lighting underneath the bed as well, just to make it a bit more interesting, I guess. And I don't have to run any cables for that, I'm just going to do that after I do the afterburner upgrade, which means uh, four wires on this connector will be free, the ones that are running to the extruder motor right now. And I'm just going to use the run the 24 volts for the LEDs through that. So, yeah, I already figured it out. I just need to switch the afterburner, but I think it will look good because right now, I don't know if there was a time lapse in this video or not, but you either saw it or will see pretty soon. The lighting on this camera it doesn't look that great, and that's with me leaving the room light on. If I turn it off and it's night time, you don't see anything. I reassembled the gantry and put everything back together and surprise surprise of course something went wrong fuck Murphy anyway uh, this time one of the end switches isn't working my problems before had nothing to do with these so this is something that I damaged during reassembly somehow but I ran some continuity tests the switch itself is working the wiring from the switch to this connector is working but at the same time, the wiring from the board to the connector is working. So the only logical conclusion is the connector isn't working properly. I actually redid some crimps, but yeah, it still doesn't seem to work. And I had some issues with this connector before as well. Turns out uh, the pins that this Minifit Junior uses isn't really great for 24 gauge wiring. It's good for up to 22 gauge I think or something like that so yeah I had some problems with this before as well when the probe wasn't working there was a loose uh, crimp so yeah there I don't really see a point in keeping this connector I like the idea of it because it was just one quick connector that I could disconnect and remove the uh, hot end and the carriage etc but yeah, if it's not gonna work properly, what's the point? So yeah, I think I'm going to replace this. And for a replacement, I'll probably go with the standard Molex KK style plugs or the fan plugs on your computer, if you are into computers. And this is the result with the Molex KK connectors. After four hours or so of crimping, it's now done. I will test this in a second, but yeah, I will change this again eventually, so again this is a temporary measure, but I do have an idea of making this look good and be reliable. It just needs some time and it will take some effort and because of that I will do that after the uh, afterburner upgrade. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm a bit tired, sorry about my voice. Anyway, I will check this and see if the end stops are fixed and then I will check if the problems with the uh, layer shifting is fixed and then I guess I'll come back to you it's been a while since the last recording in this video and you might have noticed that I skipped the video last week and that was because, well, what do you think? I wanted to finish this and in my opinion the printer now looks pretty sexy with all the lighting and the panels. As you can see I now have the hinged front door panels. Uh, these are supposed to be magnetic. But, well, I don't have the magnets yet, I ordered them from China, so who knows when they will arrive. So, for now, these are uh, just regularly hinged and they are not stuck down with anything. I will get the magnets on there as soon as I can, because I don't like things rattling around, but, yeah, for now, that's the case. 
I also changed the mount for the camera as you can see but the, for some reason if you know the C20 there's supposed to be blue lights there when recording this isn't working for some reason I'll figure it out I'll probably damage something during the wiring it should be fixed by the next episode if that's the case uh, as you can see I mounted the LEDs I know I said I was going to wait for afterburner but yeah I mean it was just running uh, to a pair of wires so I decided to do it right now why not so yeah I did the lighting as well and as you can see it's lighting this thing pretty evenly I uploaded the uh, the mounts that I used in the GitHub, Warren users GitHub, and I'll probably upload that in the thing in Thingiverse as well. It should work on pretty much any 2020 extrusion. So if even if you don't have a Voron, it should work. The hard part is probably sourcing these specific LEDs. I'll link the place that I bought them from in the description as well. But keep in mind that that's a Turkish website, so. It's not going to let, you're not going to be able to order it from there. But what you can do is just look at the uh, product itself on there and do your own search as well and just do comparisons because I don't know what this specific form factor is called, but it seems to be a, they're standardized in some way. So I'm sure you can find these. I just really couldn't figure out what these are called. So yeah. I'll still do some lighting underneath the heat pad and possibly even in the electronics area maybe RGB I don't really know at this point we'll see I also did the ventilation hole back there as you can see and yeah I think that's it for now that's all I did I think it looks pretty good so in the next episode we should be able to uh, run this and then probably do some more modding as well but i think that's it for this video i ordered all of the afterburner parts from china as well by the way i forgot to mention so they're on the way i don't know when they will arrive but yeah they're there to come and again i think that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a like down below and thanks for watching